You know, with Andre Berto, what do you think is going to be the key, Virgil? When you look at this fight, you have to break it down in your head as a trainer. What is the key that's going to get Berto the victory in your mind? Simple. He just has to want to win. It's very simple. He has to want to win. And if he wants to win, then as the fight unfolds, then he'll put keys in my hand. Right now, there are no keys in my hand, right? Because there's no fight. You see, we all can plan, right? You know, you plan, if you plan it for tomorrow, but you don't know what tomorrow brings, right? We can all plan. So, and I don't plan, I prepare, you know? So he has to want to win. If he shows a desire to win, and that desire is evident, then he's putting keys in my hand. You know, I will be able to use the right keys to, um, you know, open the right lock, so to speak, or at least get it in the keyhole. It might not fit, right? Yeah. But at least I can get it in there, right? It might not fit, but if I could get two or three of them in there, four or five of them there, one might fit, right? And you go, oh, I got 12 keys, and the 11th one fitted. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, but, it, you know, I still, he still has to fight well enough for me to get the key in the lock. And if he's not going to do that, then, you know, we're all spectators, right? Okay. <laughs> Edward, just a couple more questions. Um, Andre's the underdog, of, of course, obviously, but if he pulls this off, how big of an upset or victory is this compared to other, you know, big fighters that have lost? This will be Floyd's first loss. How big is this going to be for you guys if you guys win? I can't fathom it. I mean, I, you know, I, don't, I, I haven't even went there like that because it's like if. Like you can't afford to go into this situation if he pulls this off or what will you do? You know, that's way down the road, you know, so I, I can't even go that far. I'd be doing him a disservice, you know. Um, so I don't like want to use the word if, you know. He wins the fight, I really can't tell you how I respond. I won't do nothing stupid. You won't see me jumping up and down and cheering and You leaping. able to compose yourself? Well, I never lose my composure because, um, um, you know, I need to stay alert. Heck, I might jump up and down and fall out the ring or something. You know, and after he wins and I jump out, jumping up and down, falling the ring, hit my head, right? And I'm on the way to the hospital and we won, right? <laughs>